Hello, sixth grade. Happy Memorial Day to all of you. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you had fun with your family or friends or whoever you were able to get with. This week, we're going to be learning a little bit about political views of family members and why we have the political party system we do. So I'm sure many of you know that our main political parties are the Democrats and the Republicans. Um, we've had these parties for some time. When the country began, like with George Washington, soon after he became president, we have the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists, those who were for a strong government and those who wanted a weak central government. Um, after that, the Anti-Federalists kind of went away. And we got the Federalists versus the Democratic Republicans. And in there, we had the Clay Party for a little while, the Whig Party. And eventually, that turned into, those parties went away, and the Democratic Republicans turned into the Democrats and the Republicans. And that's what we have today. Although, what each party values and stands for has changed over time. In fact, they've about switched roles through, throughout the years that they've been around. Our country, the way it is set up, it wasn't meant to have a two-party system. In fact, George Washington warned against it in his farewell address. He thought political parties would likely become potent engines by which cunning, ambitious, and unprincipled men will be enabled to subvert the power of the people and to usurp for themselves the reins of government. Meaning, bad guys can use these parties to get power. And however, the way our government is set up, it wasn't planned to have political parties, but it is proven that is how it works because of how we vote. So we do not vote by a majority. Like the, you don't make it a goal to get over half the votes to win. You just need to have more votes than anyone else. And that might sound confusing, but when you have to get over 50% of the votes, it's possible that no one would win because everyone has just a few votes right? You have to get over half. We don't do that. We do what is called plurality votes, and it goes along with Diverger's Law. So if you look in this table, we have four different colors, and it appears that Group D has one because they have more votes than anyone else. Now, that's what happens if you have four or five parties. Everyone who votes votes for their person, and that means you can't get enough votes to, meet the, to beat the biggest group. But with the Verger's Law, what usually happens is the smaller groups join forces, like in this pie table, notice that there's four different groups that have all joined forces to beat the one bigger one. That's Diverger's Law. So even though we do have some smaller political parties, when it comes around to voting, they do try to get them to vote for the bigger party because that's a way to get their vote to count. And that's why we only have two major parties. If we got too many smaller ones, it would be really hard for any one group to stand out from the others. So a lot of our two-party system is them trying to get other smaller parties to join their group. Um, this week, we, I want you guys to focus on learning about why your parents or your siblings, your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, any of them, why they joined the party they did or what political topics they have an opinion about. And then I want you to see if you agree with them or if you disagree. And you will write a short narrative paper where you just tell me your ideas. You can say, I think, I believe, and, and let me know what you guys find out. I'm really interested. I know when I did it, I found that I don't think the same as my mom and dad now, but I used to. So what I think has changed over time. However, as I get older, we're starting to um, believe the same thing again as I, I get older. So it's interesting. Anyway, let me know what you guys find, and I will talk to you next week.